president, as you know, has been tweeting today about Puerto Rico as a powerful new storm threatens to strike as soon as tomorrow. This is what the president tweeted. He said, wow, yet another big storm heading to Puerto Rico. Will it ever end? Congress approved $92 billion for Puerto Rico last year, an all-time record of its kind for, quote, anywhere. That number, as you know, Abby, that's misleading for many reasons, but the president often cites that $92 billion figure when talking about Puerto Rico. Is he signaling he may not be willing to provide more aid, if necessary, to the American citizens on Puerto Rico? It does very much raise that question. I mean, I have to think back to when, uh, you know, President Obama handed off the reins to President Trump. And you have to imagine that that in that, those conversations, the fact that there are natural disasters that a president has to deal with is one of the things that, you, that he would have been told going into this job. You don't get to control that part of the job. It doesn't ever stop. Mother Nature doesn't ever stop. There are going to be hurricanes and tornadoes. And President Trump seems to be, in some ways, uh, implying that the Puerto Rican people are, are, are bringing this upon themselves or that they are um, the source of some kind of headache for him by uh, maybe potentially in the future requiring more disaster relief uh, funds. But that's just a part of the job. And, and you're right, Wolf, the number that the president used in that tweet is not accurate. It's an estimate, uh, a guess about what they might need in the future. Uh, only 20 million has even been allocated uh, up as of right now uh, for that island that was basically devastated by uh, multiple hurricanes in a row. So uh, these are people in desperate need. These are American citizens. And President Trump seems to continue to be um, unwilling or, or hesitant to help them in their time of need. And a lot of that has to do with his political disputes with people on the island, political leaders on that island. That's an important point as well. Uh, Ryan, how do you interpret this tweet uh, on the uh, issue of Puerto Rico from the president? I mean, he doesn't talk about Puerto Rico as if it's part of the United States. And, you know, um, call me cynical, but um, I think the president sees Puerto Rico uh, where Spanish is a dominant language and um, it's a, you know, it's not a, it's not a state um, as somehow foreign, somehow uh, not American. It's not the first time he's, uh, he's, he's treated, um, you know, the, uh, Puerto Rico as something other than part of the United States. And I frankly don't think he, I'd be surprised if he knew that part of Puerto Rico was a part of the United States before um, he became president. Um, what's a little surprising, although I guess we shouldn't be shocked, is that this far into his presidency, he still treats it that way, that he still does not see himself as president of everyone that lives in the United States and all of its, all its territories, but likes to play different parts of the country um, off each other. So. I think it's a, a really troubling and sad, and sad tweet. I know it's easy to get a nerd to some of the Trump outrageous stuff that Trump tweets, but um, I think this one's really, really, uh, you know, on the one of the one of the worst things he does is treat Puerto Ricans as if they are not Americans when they are. Samantha, what do you think? I think I agree with my colleagues, and I'll also point out a, a point that we've become so used to, but these are official policy statements by the President of the United States. When I worked under Obama and under Bush, you clear numbers before you put them in an official policy statement, and the president is being so casual about a impending natural disaster. He uh, doesn't understand the science, of course, and he's just throwing numbers around and reinventing history almost as often as he makes it. So yes, he has treated Puerto Rico not as part of the United States. Yes, he has not responded well to the actual disaster management needs on the ground. But he also is just tweeting off the cuff about anything that comes into his mind. And frankly, many member, many uh, people that still support him don't call him out on this stuff. And this fake news about what he has or hasn't done continues to percolate. Let me get Joey's thoughts. What do you think, Joey? You know, I have to tell you, Wolf, I'm just hopeful that moving forward in the event that something does, you know, is significant, the hurricane that hits uh, Puerto Rico, that the response is massive, that the response is helpful to the people. And if it's anything like Maria, I think they're in for something. But I am concerned about the president. I am concerned about his uh, prior statements as it relates to Puerto Rico. However, again, I remain hopeful that if something occurs, that he could put that aside and be helpful to the people of Puerto Rico. They